This video is on sort of basic algebra stuff really, so um, uh, I would suggest you have a go at the quiz yourself first, so follow the link below uh, you know, before, you, before you watch this. So 20 questions we're going to work through, uh, all various bits and bobs of sort of, sort of basic algebra really. So A plus A plus A, just be, just be careful here. This is uh, like an apple, add an apple, add an apple, you've got three apples. So this is just 3A. Do not confuse that with A times A times A. So A plus A plus A is 3A. Yeah, I'm following on from question one. So A times A times A, that is the one that's A cubed. Okay, so A to the power of three. A times A is A squared. A times A times A is A cubed. So that's green. So here, just again, just sort of work your way along. A plus 2A is 3A. And then 3a taking away another 3a is 0. So 0 is the answer here. I suppose technically 0a is not wrong, but um, is, uh, you know, really 0 lots of anything, you should just say 0. So b is definitely the preferred answer. No, blue rather. Uh, right, uh, what have we got next? So with these, a question like this, you just gathering like terms, you've got to add up the a's and then add up the b's. So a plus 2a is 3a. However, b minus 2b, make sure you attach that minus to the 2b. b minus 2b is minus 1b, so minus b. So our answer here is going to be 3a minus b, so that's gold. Now, remember, a squared just means a times a. So here we've really got an a times a times a, which is a cubed. So that's blue. So, um, you, very easy ones like this, you can just be, do by sight. What number, which you, add, which you then add 4 to it, gives you 11. That's 7. So the answer is going to be 7. But just to get into the swing of sort of the process we use for more tricky ones. We want to get x on its own, so we need to undo this plus 4. So we take away 4 from both sides. So 11 take away 4 is 7, so blue. And again, uh, you probably can just do this by sight and sort of trial and error, but sort of doing it formally, how do we undo a minus 6? We add 6 to both sides, 10 add 6 is 16, so that's red. Uh, so um, first of the slightly trickier ones, I guess. So um, the key bit is to choose to take away 3 from both sides first of all. Do not try and divide 3 by D because that gets complicated. It's doable, but it's complicated. Far simpler just to take away 3 from both sides, so that gives us 2x equaling 8, so 2x equals 8, divide that by 2, so 1x equals 4. So x equals 4, the green answer. Right, 5 times what gives you 20? Remember 5x means 5 times x, 5 fours are 20, so that's the gold answer. Now, just be careful here. What number divided by 4 equals 5? So again, you can probably just do it by sort of understanding your tables. 20 divided by 4 is 5. But again, formally, how do we undo a dividing by 4? We multiply both sides by 4. 5 fours are 20. So the answer is red. Now, remember what expand means. It's getting rid of the brackets, so you do the claw. So you're going to do 3 times x to start with, and then secondly, 3 times plus 3. So 3 times x is 3x. 3 times plus 3 is plus 9. So it's 3x plus 9, the gold answer. Uh, 
again um, the claw to expand to get rid of the brackets so 4 times 2x that's 4 times 2 times x which is 8x then 4 times minus 6 is minus 24 so we want 8x minus 24 the green answer again similar process the two claws 2x times x so that's 2 times x times x x times x is x squared 2 times x squared is 2x squared so the first term is 2x squared we've then got to do the second claw 2x times minus 3 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 minus 6 times x is minus 6x so we want 2x squared minus 6x which is the blue answer A similar process, the two claws, x times 4 times y is 4xy, then get the minus sign right, uh, so it's going to be a minus, uh, x times 3 times x is 3x squared, or if you like, x times minus 3x is minus 3x squared, so we're looking for 4xy minus 3x squared, so that's the green answer. So, we've got to substitute in here. So remember, 3x means 3 times whatever x is. Well, x is 6, so that's 3 sixes are 18. 5 times y, y is 5 times 1. 5 times 1 is 5. So we're 18, add 5, which is 23, the blue answer. Question 16. So find 3x squared when x is 2. So just be careful you follow bid mass here. The powers, the indices, the i in bid mass, comes before the multiplying by 3. So you've got to do the 2 squared first. And 2 squared means 2 times 2, which is 4. Then 4 times 3, equaling 12. So the answer is 12 red. Now again, be ever so careful here. Again, just like the question before, we've got to do the powers, the indices first. So the squaring comes first, but be careful. Minus three times minus three is plus nine. And then plus nine times two is 18. So the answer is going to be the gold 18. Now remember, if you were going to be putting minus three squared on your calculator, you must protect the minus. So you must make sure you do open bracket, then minus 3, then close bracket, and then squared. That gives you the plus 9. So, it was the, the gold answer, wasn't it? Question 18. So, here we start off with 2 times x, which is 2, 3 is a 6. But then, it's minus y. Now, we're minusing a minus 4. Minusing a minus 4 is plusing a 4. So our second term is plus 4. So we've got 2 3s is 6, plus 4, which is 10. So the green answer. Question 19. Well, x, y, z just means x times y times z. Minus 1 times minus 2 is plus 2, because a minus times a minus is a plus. Then our plus 2 times 3 is plus 6, so the answer is green. And finally, remember factorising means putting the brackets in. So what's the highest common factor of 4x and 6? What's the biggest number that goes into 4 and 6? Well, it's 2. So 2 goes outside the brackets. We then open up the brackets and we think to ourselves, 2 times what will give us 4x? Well, 2 times 2x gives us 4x. 2 times 2x gives us 4x. So it's one of these first two. Um, but then we've got to think 2 times what gives us 6? Well, that's plus 3. So this is the correct answer here in blue. They're very easy to check going backwards. 2 times 2x is 4x. And 2 times plus 3 is plus 6. So blue is the correct answer. 